Hi everybody, it is Wanu presenting Project Milk. Project Milk is my first modding experience ever. Uh, I build up computers uh, for myself all my life, but I never actually modify anything uh, from the stock specifications. I've chosen uh, this case, which is the iDraw I draw from EVGA, because it's a small four factor and I live in a tiny apartment, so I could spare some space. Uh, so you see it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty small, uh, which is awesome. This build is made around the Micro ITX Z97i Plus from ASUS. Uh, it has 16 GB of RAM from G-Skill. Uh, this RAM is certified to 2.1 GHz, but you can overclock it to like uh, 2.4. I've seen people doing this, so it's uh, pretty fast. The CPU is Intel 4770K, uh, on which I actually removed the head spread uh, and uh, I put the water block directly on the bare die. I let you look into the block for the details, but the goal of this is to remove as many calories as possible and as fast as possible. So it's good for overclocking, for example. The GPU is an NVIDIA 780 from EVGA on which I put a water block from EK. Uh, this water block come frosted, I polished it for the looks and also I put some uh, LEDs on the back of it, custom, uh, custom lightning that I, that I did. The water loop is custom as well, uh, part, uh, part of the parts are actually coming from the EVGA water cooling kit that goes with the case. For example, the radi I kept the radiator from this kit, and also the back fixing uh, fittings because they, uh, they, you know, they, they do the job pretty well. And also they are in hard metal, which is great because they are outside. The tubing is uh, is acrylic from IK. They are IK uh, HD, and the fittings are from either the kit, the water cooling kit from EVGA, and also uh, from Beats Power. Uh, I was wondering if I would put uh, acrylic into the build, but actually uh, I think it's better uh, better looking than uh, than uh, flexible. But also in such a small uh, you know small factor case, you want something that is actually able to stay in place and not you know kink around and, and do crazy things. So I think uh, you know acrylic was good. On the back of the case, you can. I already unscrewed the panel. You can find the hard drive. Hard drive is uh, Seagate Barracuda 4 Terra. Um, I actually cut the case open with a Dremel and uh, I did some like brackets here and there. So if you want to remove the disc, you just unscrew and it comes out. Um, also, I put some uh, noise dampening system so you literally cannot, you know, besides the clicks of the hard drive, you can really not. Here's the spinning into the case. That's nice. It has been covered. Here you cannot really see uh, because it's on the back of the reservoir. The reservoir is actually glued on the top of it. This hard drive is actually uh, uh, covered with some black acrylics. I let you look into the block for pictures and details about how I did it. Here you have the PSU. The PSU has been covered also with black acrylic. Uh, it looks better. And I made this PSU uh, modular, which is probably not the right term. But what I did is I cut the, all the cables very short, and everything you see, uh, for example, these cables uh, for the GPU are extensions. Uh, all the cables are cut to dimension and sleeve with spark cord. All right, I think that's it. So let's. Switch it on. You can hear the rush from the fans and the pump when you turn it on, and uh, after that, it's uh, pretty quiet, which is a good thing. Uh, I had to turn the lights, uh, the lights down, uh, for you to see actually the lightning, because uh, the case is uh, kind of shiny. So. Uh, any light outside uh, 
It's very visible on the camera. It's not so much visible uh, on the eyes, but really on the camera, everything shines. Look, look at the screen, I mean, seriously. Okay, so here on the reservoir, I have one hole uh, with a LED. Uh, it was pre drilled, so easy to do. And here, I had to drill uh, three holes with uh, three LEDs and a custom lightning. Okay, so that's it for the presentation of uh, Project Milk. I hope uh, you guys like it. Uh, I put uh, into the description of this video the link to the blog uh, on uh, overclock.net. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.